The 2015 Girls Camp was the fourth edition since the campaign was launched in 2012. The camp, which is organized annually by the Upper West Regional Girl Child Education Office of the Ghana Education Service, is sponsored by Plan Ghana under the Girl Power Project. The two weeks camp attracted 200 girls from basic schools from the Sisala West and Wild West districts of the Upper West Region. The camp provides a platform where girls are taken through subjects like mathematics, science, building technology, and ICT, subjects girls continue to struggle with. Speaking on the team, transforming girls into future leaders and entrepreneurs, the Deputy Upper West Regional Director of the Ghana Education Service, Madam Beatrice Jato, urged girls to venture into professions that are perceived to be for men only, to enable them earn a decent living. As the saying goes, females, well, I want to encourage you, we always say that what a man can do, can do it better. <laughs> and it's actually true. Like, uh, it's our society and other societies, before any important thing can be done, they have to consult a woman who is not at the forefront, but behind. If not, nothing will happen. So we can do it better, but we don't come to the forefront. So I challenge you also, eh? the man has ten fingers, two legs, we also have, to venture into the male-dominated jobs. Is it impossible for you to become a builder, a carpenter? I have ever met a female carpenter and people at Novrongo, and everybody wanted her to work for them. See, it's an advantage. Hmm? Have we got female electricians? Do you know of any? Yes. So we also have to venture to break into it and do it. Auto mechanics, people who, who what, repair cars and motors. It's not for the men, it's for all of us. We have left it for them. Last time I went to Kajetia and I saw an allergy with a cup and he was selling rice with an apron. They are infiltrating into what you call your domain. Why can't you also go there? <laughs> eh? So there is no job for males, no job for females. The Upper West Regional Minister, Alaji Amin, Amidu Suleimani, reiterated government commitment to providing quality education to every Ghanaian child. He, however, appealed to all stakeholders, particularly parents, to do more for the education of the girl child. Not long ago, it was even thought that educating the girl child was a waste of resources. Happily, however, more and more girls are now being enrolled in our schools. Some progress has also been made to retain the girl child in school through the provision of friendly girl child school environment. In addition to this, the girl child who unfortunately gets pregnant is now encouraged to go back to school after giving birth and even pregnant candidates during examinations are allowed to write their exams which was not the case some years back. We have made some headway in protecting the rights of the girl child. Most of these girls are faced with the syndrome of inferiority complex, as we've been told by earlier speakers here. There is a need for psychological orientation of the girl towards self-awareness and self-belief. They are confused about their true identity as a result of peer pressure influence. It is our responsibility as parents and teachers to teach our children our culture and values and emphasize on education so that they will know where they are coming from, which will give them a sense of identity and confidence. In addition to the mathematics, science, building technology, and ICT classes that were organized for the girls, they were also taken through some vocational skills as a way of giving meaning to the team of the 2015 guest camp and also provide them alternative ways of earning an income. This year's team is uh, transforming girls into future leaders and entrepreneurs. We have taken this team 
because we have realized that when uh, when people say they are not working, it means they are not into government work or they are not into white color jobs. But uh, with this training, we are exposing the girls to other things that you can do on your own, which can earn you income. For example, sewing. Sewing can earn you income. And you can uh, develop your profession along that line. We also did a beadwork. Have you seen my beautiful beads that I'm wearing? Yes. One of the girls made it for me. And then you see that this is beautiful and she can earn an income from it. They should not, uh, we try to disabuse their minds on this employment, on, on unemployment uh, thing. That uh, it is not only working for somebody or working for government that, uh, that uh, will let you earn a living. But you can also create your own job, work and then uh, earn your income and live well. Addressing the girls to mark the end of the 2015 girls camp, the Upper West Program Unit Manager of Plan Ghana, Eric Ayaba, advised the girls to take their education seriously and also be of good behavior. Never underestimate the number of days you have spent here. Never underestimate the lessons that the resource persons have impacted in you. Never underestimate the lessons that you have learned from each other. Never underestimate the value of the short period of your stay here because it could prove to be a change in your life. Two of the participants of this year's camp spoke of some of the good things they have learned at the camp. We find it difficult on some subjects, subjects like BDT, but just purposely because we have the teachers, room, but the tools, we always see them in books, but we don't see them physical. We don't know, even know the use, we just hear the name, but we don't know how it is. But when we had the opportunity to come here, we were able to get the tools, see them, tag them, fill them, even use some in preparing some of the dishes. If I go back home, I will tell my family that I've, I've learned a lot of things from this camp and I'm going to change my life completely. <laughs>